All right, so I'm just a idiotic, stupid dog, and this is, I believe, chapter eight of uh, not Uncle Rebar. What was his name? Uncle Dinner. I thought we had another uncle, Uncle Rebar. He got he was a more of a dark complected individual. I don't know what his nationality was. He was kin to us, so you know we can't disclaim him. You know what I'm saying? But he definitely has something going on. But this is the eighth chapter. It could be the ninth. Could be the tenth. I think it's the eighth chapter. I don't even know. Whatever chapter this is, we'll put it in print when we do the artwork. Okay. So this is Uncle Dinner. Uncle Dinner staggers home with this kid that he says is from North Carolina. It turns out the kid's from Canada. Uncle Dinner staggers home. He said, "This is the next Elvis Presley." The man's like, "What? What? The next Elvis Presley? What are you stupid? What are you crazy? Are you a moronic fool?" The squirrel pops up out of Uncle Dinner's denim jacket and he gives everybody the eye in the room. He especially gave Fake Elvis the eye. So Fake Elvis, Uncle Dinner introduced him as a North Carolinian moonshiner. Turns out the kid's from Canada. And the kid's like, hey, everybody, what's going on over here? I'm going to just see, uh, I'm really happy to be in your manor house today. And everybody's like, what? You think that's Elvis Presley? You think that's the Elvis Presley impersonation? He's like, oh, 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 yeah. I don't do no Elvis Presley impersonation. <laughs> and everybody's like, what? Uncle Dinner. Uncle Dinner, are you turning gay? What's going on? Are you trying to hook up with this guy? What's going on? And Uncle Dinner starts swinging madly at the thing. The squirrel came out and bit Uncle Dinner in the ear. Uncle Dinner didn't calm down. Then the squirrel bit him right in the neck. He drew a little blood. I was like, is the squirrel a vampire squirrel? Uncle Dinner's like, okay, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the primary course of naturalistic events. Let me say this right here now, okay? This is the next Elvis Presley on to it. And the mayor's like, Uncle Dinner, it's, he can't be an Elvis Presley impersonator or else you got to go to Las Vegas. This is Western Kentucky. We don't have any Elvis impersonators, all right? You see what I'm saying? You got to go to Las Vegas, out there where the Golden Knights play hockey and the, whatever you say it is, the Astros, or not the Astros, but the Athletics, the Oakland Athletics are coming. You got some kind of weird NASCAR race. I don't even know what's going on. Basically, you got the Raiders, you got the hockey team, and maybe now you could bring out fake Elvis. You know what I'm saying? You could get out Elvis over there. And Uncle Dinner's like, listen, the man. And, and I was like getting ready. I was baring my teeth. And me and that square were locking eyes. Right then and there, me and that square were locking eyes. And I was like, I know how to kill a squirrel with two shakes of a lamb's tail, my friend. And that squirrel, he wasn't backing down. He wasn't afraid. He's like, I'll gouge your eyes out now. I'll know off your balls. Little did he know, my balls were chopped off when I was six months of old. So whatever, you know what I'm saying? Once he starts trying to get to my balls, I'm going to grab him by his tail. I'm going to sling him against the wall five times and break his skull open. See what I'm saying? All right. It doesn't matter. Everything boiled down. That kid, he was looking. He was gazing around. He was had like the shimmy. He's like, and everybody's like, oh, my God, this guy, you know, he's got that shimmy. He's got that thing. You know, he's got that cross-dimensional ethnic kind of a thing and a sway to his hips. His, you know, he works it back and forth. He's got the thing. He's got the jimmy legs. Everybody's like, he's got the stand-up jimmy legs. He's got the stand-up Jimmy Links. And every, everybody calmed down after that. Even even myself, the dog, I calmed down. The squirrel, he calmed down. He, he went back into Uncle... He saw everything was calmed down, so he went back into Uncle Dinner's breast pocket. I think the squirrel's a little old, to be, be honest with you. Uncle Dinner and fake Elvis, they were, you know, calming down. And the man was calming down. All of a sudden, finally Uncle Dinner says, Listen to me. I need you to back this. And the man's like, I don't have no money. What do you want me to do? Sell a couple whatever? You know, I got a couple Daryl Strawberry rookie cards. Maybe you think I want to sell them? I got a Mookie Wilson rookie card. You know what I'm saying? Mookie Wilson, they didn't want. They give you $15. I got to have 75 Mookie, Wil Milk Mookie Wilson cards to go get a Burger King lunch over here. You know, Sam? I mean, and Uncle Dinner said, I'm not having that. We got to invest in this kid. And so finally, Uncle Dinner's like, hey, young man, I'm doing the primary course of naturalistic events. Step up and get on that coffee table. Then he was like, do not get on that coffee table. Uncle Dinner, were you stupid? Uncle, you know, fake Elvis got up on the coffee table. He started saying, he started crooning. And this is just a rough impersonation because I'm a young stupid dog. I cannot sing like fake Elvis, but I'm just going to do a rendition. So fake Elvis said, 
I just want to thank everybody out there tonight for uh, supporting me. And uh, everybody in the room tonight, you're beautiful. You're cherished. You're, you mean a great deal to me. Uh, let me say this much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And this one's for you. Uncle Dinner. Uncle Dinner. This one's for you, my friend. He says, he, he kind of calmed down. He starts saying, I don't have any musical company, so it's just going to be an acapella, okay? All right, here we go, boys. Feast your ears on this. Okay, and, and he kind of, he cleared his throat. He said, uh, something, uh, uh, okay, he goes like this. He goes, <laughs> or great, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> And Uncle Dinner's like, calm down, calm down, you got it, you got this, you got this. And I was rooting for him. I was like, I mean, I'm a stupid dog, I'm rooting for this kid, you know what I'm saying? He forgot his lines right away, he forgot his lines. You can't forget your lines right away, you know what I'm saying? You got to forget a couple into it a little bit, you forget your lines not right away. So, so, so it goes, all right, I'll never show him. Organic green pepper, can you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Oh, organic green pepper, can you come out tonight and dance? Dance, 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 dance. Oh, again, a green purple. Can you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Oh, again, a green purple. Can you come out tonight and dance? Dance, dance, dance. Dance. And I'm going to tell you this much. The whole room was spellbound. Everybody says, Elvis walks the earth again. And I'm the uh, stupid dog. The, 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 uh, what do you say? Uncle Dinner stood up and the squirrel popped out. He got right on the top of the chrome dome of Uncle Dinner. Uncle Dinner's head. He got right up on like a, he made himself a headdress, a squirrel headdress. Everybody was blown away. The man said, I'm selling all my Mookie Wilson rookie cards. Everybody was exact, ex exuberated. We had fake Elvis in the manor house. And if he could do that, if he could lay that down at nothing, you know, just right off the cuff with no accompaniment. I mean, this kid's got it. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it, this kid's got it. You know what I'm saying? He's got it. He's got the, he's talented. He's the talent. I, I was blown away. We were all blown away. The man's like, he busted his best bourbon. He dug into his old, he said, I'm going, he dug out his key to the bank. He said, I'm going tomorrow to get my collection of Mookie Wilson rookies. We're going to bankroll this kid. We're going to the top, I tell you. We're going to the top. And everybody was so psyched. That was a beautiful thing. It was romantic. It was glorious. It was beautiful. And this, I think it was the eighth chapter. Maybe it was the ninth chapter. Could have been the tenth chapter. No one knows, but we're going to try to identify it. But you were there. That's where I want to say it here. It's, Share this with your friends because this is pure gold. I mean, we have uncovered a, you know, a three ounce nugget. You know, Sam. I don't know. I'm a young stupid dog, but I'm just. I'm overwhelmed. I'm blown away. I'm just taken away. I'm with the flow. I love it, and I just want to see where this thing goes. It's beautiful. No one saw this coming. No one saw this coming.